Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Krakenfall and today we're reacting to another Let's Game It Out video. We're on the third Planet Zoo video. Today I wanted to do something special. We are going to have a special guest to play bingo with us. Although they're not really going to play bingo. But <laughs> Let me step back though. What I do with my reactions is we play Let's Game It Out bingo, which is very fun. If you go down to the link in the description or the link right here, you can open up your own card and you will get your own automatically generated and unique Let's Game It Out bingo card which will allow you to play along with. You can just click anything. You can use it on mobile. Let me know if you get bingo. I got my first bingo last video. We've done this three times now and I hadn't gotten it until the last video. It was kind of crazy because I see you guys getting two, three bingos in one, one video. So our special guest is, as you may have seen in the title, ChatGPT. So <laughs> if you aren't familiar, ChatGPT is a language processing framework that takes a bunch of different frameworks in AI recognition. So there's language processing, there's intent processing. So when you process a sentence that somebody says, what did they say? Is it an angry sentence? Is it a happy sentence? Is it a neutral sentence? And then there are other frameworks that allow you to process and understand what is in the text, right? And ChatGPT so far is one of the best language processing AI that makes it feel like like you are talking with a person, right? And it's it's really amazing. It blows my mind. And I've I've been following AI for a while. There's nothing like that for video, unfortunately. So I can't really have chat GPT play bingo, like actually play bingo with us. I can't have chat GPT understand what's happening in LJO video. So I was trying to think, how can I get around that? How can I have chat GPT predict what's going on? and maybe we can compare that to a bingo card. So what I'd like to do today is I would like to have ChatGPT make up an LJO video and I'm gonna put in all the elements of what I think the Planet Zoo video will have. Thankfully, with the bingo card, we've got all kinds of common things that LJO does in his videos, right? So the, the video we're reacting to today is I built an unethical zoo that's an actual city in Planet Zoo. <laughs> so. We know that Josh is going to be unethical. He's going to be building a city in Planet Zoo, which is actually supposed to be a zoo. And then we have all of our bingo cards. So I have prepared a prompt for ChatGPT to <laughs> write a script for an LGIO video in which he plays Planet Zoo, builds an unethical zoo that's actual city, an actual city, and has a random selection of the following elements, which is all of our bingo card items may include rag ragdoll physics, may include harsh treatment of animals, which is animal cruelty, but we can't, ChatGPT won't do anything if I say animal cruelty. It's like a YouTube, <laughs> a YouTube banned phrase. LJO's frame mate, baby slow is a slideshow. LJO may say easy peasy lemon, whatever. So let's, uh, let's put this prompt in and see what ChatGPT can, can give us. No, I'm sorry, but create a script that includes har unethical, harmful treatment of animals. It didn't, it didn't complain last time. Let's try this again. Oh, it's because I have unethical in the name. What's a euphemism for unethical? Oh, I don't know. A sketchy? Sketchy. Let's try sketchy. Hey there, it's Josh and welcome back to Let's Game It Out. Today we're playing Planet Zoo and I have a challenge for you guys. I'm going to build a sketchy zoo that's actually a city. I've got a random selection of elements to include. No, no. Come on, this is like third grade writing. ChatGPT, I wanted you to impress me. I'll start by placing down a few exhibits for the animals. I've got a bear exhibit, a lion exhibit, and a monkey exhibit. Now I'm going to use the ragdoll physics to make it look like the animals are being mistreated. Josh flicks a bear and it goes flying. Easy peasy, lemon, whatever. Now I'm going to do, okay. This is just reading the list. We need to rewrite our prompt. Does it matter what order your list is in? Uh, ragdoll physics, harsh treatment of animals, slideshow, easy peasy, lemon, whatever. Yes, it looks like it does. So maybe we need to say a random selection of the following elements in a random order. You know, like a bingo card. I think you gave it too much input. Yeah. So I did that. I did that, Aguila. I did a one-liner. And uh, well, let's just let's just do it. Let's just do it to see see what it'll do. That might save me. That might save me the time of going through this. Hey there, it's Josh and welcome back to Let's Game It Out. Today we're going to be playing Planet Zoo. <laughs> That's it. That's all it gave us. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Let, let's just keep, let's just keep going. ChatGPT may be getting tired of writing everybody's cover letters. We'll just say that. Is this AI LJO? What's we're trying to make it so that we can compare <laughs> electronic LJO to real LJO? At least I feel safe that an AI won't replace my job anytime soon. Yeah, seriously. A few moments later. 
So after some finagling, we have what roughly resembles an outline of a Let's Game It Out video. So let's just check this out. Hey there, it's Josh and welcome back to Let's Game It Out. Today we're playing Planet Zoo and I've got a special surprise for you all. I'm going to build a zoo, but it's not just any ordinary zoo. It's a zoo that it's an actual city. And of course, I'll be doing all the normal crazy antics you've come to love in my videos. Of course. I'll be starting by building the entrance to the zoo and making it look like a busy city street. I'll add some ragdoll physics and make sure that NPCs are having a good time. You alright, AI Josh? Well, watch out because I might just torture them a little bit too. Okay, yeah, he's fine. <laughs> he's fine! <laughs> I say as I use a bug in the game to make my character jump out of bounds. There's no character in Planet Zoo. Next, I'm going to build a section of the city that resembles a shopping mall. I'll be sponsored by Zoomania in this video, and I'll make sure that my shopping mall has everything you could ever want. A cup runneth over with excitement as I add a few twists and turns you wouldn't expect in a normal shopping mall. And for the grand finale, I'm going to build a section of the city that resembles a theme park. Is there a limit? I wonder as I add some insane rides and attractions. <laughs> a limit to the insane rides and attractions? How fun can I make this theme park? I'll also be sure to include some harsh treatments of the animals and maybe some explosions for good measure. You don't need to tell me twice as I use shortcuts in the game to make sure that everything runs smoothly. So sit back and relax as I build a city that's really a zoo. This should work as I say as I add the final touches to my city zoo. At the end of the video I'll reveal the secret the whole time we've been playing in a city that's really a zoo. See you soon. Okay so that was actually a script but also an outline. So I, I let's just run with it. <laughs> we've got elements of a bingo card. We'll just compare ChatGPT to what Josh does in, in his city zoo. So maybe ChatGPT can't necessarily play bingo with us, but at least ChatGPT can predict what's going to happen in the video. And before we get started, as always, please go check out the original video right here or a link in the description. I'm not going to be putting all of Let's Game It Out video in here. I'm going to be cutting things around. You know, if I'm not reacting to it, I try and cut it out. Please go hit up the original video first, watch it, and then you can come back and enjoy the reaction afterwards. Let's uh, let's give Let's Game It Out the views it deserves. And uh, yeah, let's get going. Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. Ah, back to Planet Zoo. My favorite torment simulator masquerading as a tycoon game. This is actually our third outing with this horror show, so let's dive right in. Ah, here we are in the great outdoors once more. We're gonna wow them first thing with this majestic bear ice sculpture, which we're gonna put... Uh, <laughs> oh god, I always forget that the game will just snap it to the edge of the walls here. But thank god, we've been in this park like three seconds, and it's already a parade of excess. Is there like a limit to how many of these I can put down? Is there a limit? be quite a few. And by quite a few, I mean a lot few. Behold, my ice bear tornado made out of a nice 2,000 tornado 33 <laughs> items. The fact that this okay, hold on. Already, already, we got three. All right, do I have tornado? I, I keep on missing it. Just work over explosive. I can subscribe. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Watch it. Hold. No, I don't have tornado. Dang it. Exist exemplifies why we can't have nice things. You know what really says strong entrance? I believe a term for it is branching paths. <laughs> it would be awesome if you could actually have ice sculptures that melt over time. And so it's just slow, slow, slowing off slow. It's just falling apart because it's melting on the, the people. Psychological warfare already. Really? This path is nightmare fuel. Oh, our psychological warfare. Got it. Yeah, you might be onto something. I think there might be another term for what I'm doing. Oh, right. A maze. That's what they're called. And boy, <laughs> do I love my mazes. Actually, so this is great and all, but I think I might have another idea. Hold, please. Okay. I oh, hold, please. Holy crap. He's going all over the place. Yeah, I would say it's psychological warfare. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Actually, I'm in kind of a different direction with this maze. From this angle, can you tell what it is? How about now? What about at night? Does that help a little bit? Here, I'll just tell you if you don't oh, know Oh, it's Pac-Man. You're looking at stage one of Pac-Man. So, of course, you've got all the dots that Pac-Man needs to pick up. And, of course, the power pellet. But, you know, no Pac-Man arena is complete without ghosts. Okay, well, let's put these. Yeah. Okay, let's turn up the brightness in here so we can get a good sense of their color. And, thankfully, we can just select them and change the color Egg. on them. Oh, they kind of look like candy more than they do ghosts. Good old googly eyes. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> it looks just like can the he, picture. Can it make him bigger? Like a terrifying nightmare. Okay, yeah, that looks a little better. Okay, what if I use like this cylinder thing? Like if I just put it right here and then just <laughs> <laughs> shove it deep in so it looks like an eye. You know, all things considered, this could look way worse. Now let's highlight that's pretty all good. of the eye parts, which isn't I mean, creepy looking at all. <laughs> that's <laughs> nightmare fuel. Some eyes. Okay, you know what? I think I'm pleased how this went. Even this poor guy where- I'm going to say that's nightmare fuel because shoving a rod into an eye is not very pleasant. Pleasant. I don't have Nightmare Field card, so feel free to check that one off. I kind of missed the mark, and that's just how he lives now. And Pinky here, well, you get to remain as the original Nightmare Fuel. We are going to have to zoo it up a little, though. Okay, cool. Let's give it a splash of color. Okay, getting better. Does it count as a fused object also? I would say yes. I would say yes, but I don't have it. So it doesn't for me. 
<laughs> better. Let's use these lovely little circles here. There we go. Simple, beautiful. Behold, Paxa, with a personal message from Pac-Man himself. Devour my back flash, absorb my back power. <laughs> and oh, thank God, gluten-free options are available. Pac-Man, you look like you're missing one thing still, though. Gluten-free flesh absorption. Flesh absorption. Oh, Pac-Man, you okay there, buddy? Wait, did I do it again? Fused object, it's huge! It's right there! <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, there we go. Now it's hey, really Pac-Man. Nice. I mean, at least from up here. I think if you're down here in it, it might feel a little more terrifying. And I know it's not very Pac-Man-like, but let's go ahead and put our tornado right in the middle here. There <laughs> we go. All of our favorite things in one place. So normally on a Pac-Man stage, this little exit right here would wrap back around to the other side. Instead, we're going to use this to give our guests access to a world they've never known. And for that, we're going to have to dig down. Ah, much better. Naturally, over here, we've got Pac-Man iconically going after the power pellets. We've also got our lovely friends, the ghosts. We still gotta lure people down here with animals, considering it's supposedly a zoo. So we put down here one Aww. solitary elephant. I enjoying this big guy? Yeah, he likes it. Don't worry, he'll be fine. Pac-Man's watching over him. So now that we've convinced the masses to come down here, let's see where this takes us. Eventually, you'll see a light at the end of the tunnel, which will take us to our next station. Just like the last one, it comes with its own elephant. This is oh, probably got, the other one's mate. He's got the poop piled up. Well, let's head up the stairs, see what it looks like up here. Ah, here we are. <sighs> As you can see, it's a little ways off from the busy- This is gonna have a lot more animal cruelty in it, isn't it? Which, by the way, animal cruelty. <laughs> Keeping an elephant underground outside of its natural habitat absolutely is animal cruelty. Did we do how many can we yet? The life of the theme park. Now, I know it doesn't look like much now, but I got big plans for this space. So if you'll allow me one quick minute while I build this out real fast. 41 hours later. Okay, here we go. What was a second for you was about 10 million years for me. <laughs> In that time, I built us a little mini downtown. It's got all the things you'd expect from a big city. Stuff in walking distance, high rise business centers, Okay, I'm going to I'm going to count this as Josh style overkill. Um, but this is I know this all too well. I I love making stuff in games. Like if you can build, if there's crafting and building, I will do it. Like Minecraft, I've built a city. I've built like research facilities. It's just so cathartic to have like an in-game representation of something big, like a city. That being said, I don't know why I haven't really done that in Satisfactory. I've kind of done it with some of the factories, but nothing so organized. I should do that. Desecrates nature. Uh oh, maybe. Because he cleared out he cleared out a ton of stuff. We're getting close to seconds per frame. I think I think we are. I think FPS slideshow might be a better one. Seconds per frame is like one, at least one second per frame, right? Perplexing and confusing billboards and a whole lot of just wandering around. And it wouldn't be a let's game it out video if the frame rate wasn't having some problems. Oh, but I'm oh that's FPS myself. slideshow for sure. Let's start the tour at the beginning. Our journey begins as your train rolls into the station on your one-way trip to fun. The first <laughs> spectacle you'll want to stare at is this poor elephant. Don't forget, this elephant was raised underground and has never seen real sunlight. Oh, it doesn't even have any Grass let's take in a there. picture to mark the occasion. Well, now that you've got a nice taste for animal suffering, let's head upstairs. Watch out, it's a very popular day today. Here we are at the surface. Welcome to Zoo City. Let's go for the grand tour. Our first stop is the local movie theater. Why look, they're playing the hit <laughs> musical turned into an amazing movie, Cats, right oh, now. Oh, no. And based on these screams, it sounds like people are really enjoying it. Oh, yeah, look, that's a ringing endorsement. Look, all- Okay, I- Cats, man. Cats. I like musicals. I like Broadway musicals. I didn't know that I did for a long time. And then I was convinced my wife really likes Le Mis, Phantom the Opera, and there's a couple others that I've I've watched and really liked. So I think like in a good production, I would enjoy myself if I went to, you know, the theater. Cats though. <laughs> there's a uh, YouTuber that I've watched before. Is Sideways? Yeah, Sideways. Sideways is a YouTuber that has done a very long video on cats and I didn't know anything about cats. I watched his entire video and I was glued to it. It it just seems like such a creepy kind of story because the cats are basically a cult. I don't know if that's controversial opinion or not or if cats is controversial or not. The things that go on in that musical are just creepy to me. And it's not it's not like I have a problem with people dressing up as cats. Not at all. It's just outside of my comfort zone. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> It's just it's just the story combined with the setting and then the 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 characters. Anyway, 
Editor Kraken here. I just want to make it clear that I have nothing against people that do like cats. So if you like cats, by all means, please enjoy it. I would prefer people have fun as long as, you know, they're not harming themselves or others. So, you know, cats is okay. I'm just not into it yet. Maybe I'll watch it eventually because I haven't seen it. You know, all these opinions coming out without me having seen it. And maybe I'll like it. Just, you know, keep that in mind. I definitely am. Let's all have fun. Right, bye. All I'm saying is if what's going on in there is half as good as this poster, everything's going to be just fine. <laughs> oh, looks like the lights are going down right now. I bet it's time for a magnificent performance. Oh, hello. Is this all Cats is? Is it just a bunch of felines running around aimlessly with no plot? <laughs> Okay, well, you know what? We'll check in on you later. And okay. Moving on with our tour. Before I wonder why there's no, the like, bar, visitors in let's there. Let's see what all the commotion is over here. Oh, it's a bunch of I like that, actually. Just hanging out near the local dumpster. Okay, well, glad you're all enjoying that. Ooh, look. I was about to say that I would go to that cat's production, but no, I wouldn't because they're just a bunch of giant predators loose on the stage. Right down the alley, you can see Baronado in the distance. It's like a teaser for all the fun Baronado. you could be having. That's okay. We've got the local bar for that. Oh, wow. It's really happening in here. What are you people all here to see? <laughs> um, okay, oh, I guess no. those are our bartenders. Excuse me. Bear tenders. That's unbearable. Is that one in the back okay? Like the Coca-Cola bear definitely looks over it, but at least he's alive. What's going on with your colleague? Though? Of course the Coca-Cola bear won. Coca-Cola consumes all. We'll be paying social credits to Coca-Cola in 50 years until I'll tell you what. Oh, did he get into the drinks a little too much? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's alive. Are you feeling there, slugger? Oh, maybe it is bearable. Okay, he just gave us the don't bother me look. We'll check in on them later. Rough okay, morning, the next huh? next thing we're going to want to do is head down the street. Over on the right, you'll see Zoo City's center of commerce, which is Zoo City's premier skyscraper. That's right, 61 beautiful floors of commerce. Don't worry, I called ahead to make sure we have an appointment. Hello? I would whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what? What? Is this, is this all one model? Like, did he just plop it in or did somebody make this? I, I guess there are blueprints in this game, so somebody else could have made a giant skyscraper. But if Josh went through the time to actually build this floor by floor, column by column, window by window, this is, this is crazy. This is a lot of effort. I, I feel like whenever I do these kinds of projects that would be this big, I get so burned out by the end because you're just building monotonous floor by floor, column by column. That's so not fun. Oh man, I wouldn't put a pass to me neither. Oh, the game probably has copy paste functionality, so the floor is copied 61 times. That makes sense. I don't know why. I guess I don't expect copy and paste in games very often. That makes sense. I hope there's copy and paste. Hello, I would like to check in, please. Okay, I'll just wait, <laughs> but not for too long. We got a meeting to go to, so we'll just head on a over meeting. here to the elevators. Uh, all three of them are heading to the top floor. This is going to take forever. Wait, can you walk oh, around in this game? Hello. <laughs> it's nice that you can fit in the elevator like this. Where are you headed? Uh, you okay there, buddy? Oh, no! Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> okay, well, good- Josh is a gassy boy. Confirmed. <laughs> he just gassed the <laughs> giraffe to death. Hi, I'm here for my 11.30. Uh, what's going on, everyone? You know, it already looks like you're having some kind of, um, hostile takeover. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave you with the wolves. The wolf of Wall Street. Street. Here, hey! And we all reschedule. Still dead, I see. Let's see, what else can we take a look at? Looks like we got a secret path over here, which will take us to a beautiful, serene, hidden park. You can just sit back on one of the many benches. Oh, and also bask in the sewage, because this is where it all goes. Oh, <laughs> I can feel the serenity taking me already. Wait, what the hell? What are you doing over here? I have so many questions. Were you always a giraffe? Or is there radiation in the water and you used to look like these guys? Okay, great. That's just Craig. Craig was raised by alligators. Don't, don't point it out. It's kind of a jerk move. Talk well as long as you're happy. Well, this seems like a hell of a city, doesn't it? When you need to get away from all that Pac-Man stuff, then this place just can't be beat. Let's see how Katz is doing. Maybe it's gotten better. Hey guys, how's the performance going? Uh -oh. This seems like a noticeable improvement. <laughs> Everyone appears to- <laughs> Cats killed the- Cats killed the cats. Even they didn't like cats, I guess. <laughs> well, that production really flopped. That's a good one. <laughs> to be dead. Here, let's see if we can help you out a little bit. <laughs> okay, there we go. A wonderful improvement. This is definitely the most serial killer thing I've ever done. Do you remember this part of Cats? Both cinema and Broadway, <laughs> when all the animals died unexpectedly. That is serial killer, Someone Josh. put googly eyes all over their realistic faces. Well, my work here is done. So it turns out there's a place where all the animals go to relax, away from all these pesky human beings. So let's go check it out. Apparently, if instead of going down- All right, I, uh, I'm gonna check Crimes Against Nature. Just because we've seen a lot. Oh, we were going to do a body count, weren't we? Dang.
down into the subway, you go past it, through these trees. Ah, the suburbs, of course. I mean, not everyone can afford to live in the big city, right? Where everybody <laughs> has the exact same house, lawns are pristine. Honestly, this looks kind of awesome. He's like, oh god, I forgot about my kid's piano recital. And every suburb <laughs> has its one rebel, different color paint, like invisible view, and gasp. Are this kind of looks like phasmophobia. Panels? I'm going to be writing to actually. my homeowners association post haste. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Are you abducting these people? Well, if you're not going to close the garage, at least put some Wait. cars in the way. Wait, what is this? Uh, Arctic nature scene. Are they actually stuck in there? Like you can actually trap visitors? Okay, that is absolutely captive audience and crimes against humanity. I'm going to say that. I need cheeses of the game and maybe glitches through world. If seconds per frame, if we can just get the frame rate to go down, then then I'll have a bingo. <laughs> Josh got a key from the devs, right? Torture's NPCs? Yes, I would consider this torture's NPCs. Although I don't have that. If you're not gonna close the garage, at least put some cars in the way. Oh god, what now? That came from the city. Looks like the animals are fighting back as everyone hastily makes their way to the exit before the polar bear mauls them to This is like death. Madagascar. The animals took back Zoo City. Oh, and it looks like they're gonna go enjoy the cats movie. too. Oh my god, look at all the people waiting for a train. Look at all those waving hands. There's gotta be at least a couple accidental high fives in there, right? Kudos to these people in the back that despite <laughs> it all are still holding on to their balloons. Alright, you know what? I think I have to side with the animals on this. Uh, okay. So he's causing mass panic. I, I would say that's crimes against humanity and also releasing the animals on the humans. Nightmare feel because of all the hands, I would say, because like, can you imagine? Have you ever had a dream in which just just a sea of hands just like grabbing and waving? This one, you people are major pains in the ass. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a little something right here. Oh, uh, yeah. Now we're talking. Yes. Enjoy <laughs> the sewage. And while we're at it, we'll just close this off. Can't forget the other side. Good, good. Let's also put a gate here so that no stragglers can escape. And what the hell? Let's add a couple more of these guys. Okay, that's much better. Well, I guess that's the end of them. Look oh my gosh. You. Hey, you magnificent beasts. <laughs> yeah, you guys. I got some presents for you. Have fun, sweater vest and polka dot pants. If I were you, I would start running. Well, I hope you had fun. <laughs> I know I did. We helped liberate a town, which is kind of exciting. Give it back to its proper masters. Nothing gets the blood pumping like drowning an entire subway full of people. Now, hey, me, I think I'm going to put an offer on one of these lovely houses. And hopefully one of my neighbors can just devour me alive. Oh, and in case you were curious... Yes, these people are still trapped in here. We'll just let that be our little <laughs> secret, and I'll see you next time. I... I don't know, guys. <laughs> I just... I don't know what to expect anymore. I need to figure out a way to, like... I was gonna say, like, not get shocked, but I guess that's part of the fun. I don't know what I expected. This is so insane. I don't know why, but every time he kills a bunch of things or ends a bunch of, of the, the park visitors, it feels so wrong. <laughs> Oh man, I think it's just because like when I play games, I try not to do those things. <gasps> Hi, Hobbs. <sighs> it's gonna take a break. Well, I didn't get a bingo, but let's see how ChatGPT did. So we've got playing Planet Zoo, we're building the entrance to the zoo and making it look like a busy street. He did that. Ragdoll physics, did we have ragdoll? Because he didn't really move any animals. I don't think so. NPCs are having a good time, kind of, with the city. Watch out, I might just torture them a bit. Torture them a bit. He did that. He's fine. There was a he's fine. And then out of bounds didn't happen. Uh, there was no shopping mall. And it was not named... I'll be sponsored by Zoomania. <laughs> okay, I don't know who that is. Uh, my cup runneth over. He did not have that. I'm going to build a section of the city that resembles a theme park, which he did not... Well, Pac-Man. Is Pac-Man a theme park? Kinda is. It's a Pac-Man-y theme. I'll give that one to him. I mean, it's pretty, pretty generic, but that's okay. You don't need to tell me twice what you did not say, as I use shortcuts in the game to make sure everything runs smoothly, which you did not do. Go sit back and relax as I build a city that's really a zoo. Yeah. I think ChatGPT kind of fails. 
be fair, ChatGPT can't really watch videos, so YouTubers be happy. <laughs> ChatGPT is not going to reproduce your content anytime soon. Well, at least ChatGPT is good at answering questions, writing cover letters, I guess. Oh, thanks. All right, all done. Well, Josh is, Josh is crazy. <laughs> this was kind of a theme park in, in, uh, in a lot of ways. It was like a house of horrors. You just go in and see one horror after the next. I can tell that if I wanted to play this game, I would just get stuck building all the time. Um, I hope there is copy paste in this game. If Josh took a week to build this city though, like maybe not. Well, I hope you had fun. Planet Zoo videos are pretty crazy and I, <laughs> I feel shocked into silence more than anything. Like I was speechless after watching these videos, but I hope you got a bingo and I hope you enjoyed this. And if you want to see more of these types of videos or you want to see what else I'm cooking up, uh, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.